and it was getting heavier. And I just started to believe. I, it was like soaking. I could feel it getting stronger. Yeah, yeah. And I read, how many remember Keith Green? Are you that old? I mean, he was a, a psalmist. You don't even know. Way back, a psalmist. I mean, he was before Elton John and, and Billy Joel. And yet he had that piano style writing Christian music when it wasn't popular back in the uh, 70s during the Jesus movement. But he wrote this. He goes, and this just witnessed to me, my eyes are dry, my faith is old, my heart is hard, my prayers are cold, and I know how I ought to be, alive to you and dead to me. That's heavy right there. Yeah. Sometimes we've seen it all. We've seen people get saved and then fall away. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen people filled with the Holy Ghost. We've seen people get, and you know, it gets to be old sometimes. Our hearts kind of just said, well, I've been there, done that, got the teacher, what's next? And what's happening is our love is waxing cold. Our hearts mm. are getting hardened. No longer do we want to go to a conference. No longer do we want to go to church. No longer do we want to read. Am I talking to somebody besides no, myself? Preach, man. Do we ever get to the place to where, you know, our hearts, they just don't want to read the word of God. Yeah, we're looking at it and it's stale, just not man. starting to speak to us. Yeah. We need to, somebody say repent. repent. We need to turn around. We need to say, wait a second. Let's inspect ourselves, not somebody else, not judging, but ourselves. my eyes are dry. Are the tears still coming? My faith is old. Well, are you walking in what happened uh, 20 years ago? My faith is hard. What about yesterday? You know, my heart is hard. My prayers are cold, and I know how I ought to be. I don't know about you, but this spoke to me. This spoke to me. I've been serving the Lord 40 years, and there's times as my walk with God Better today than it was 40 years ago. Wow. In some aspects, yes. Other times, I know where I was more sensitive. I was hungrier for the move of God. Wow. I was more available. You know, and, and this, I'm, I'm confessing. That's that. real stuff, man. I'm confessing. I'm being honest. He goes, but what can be done for an old heart like mine? Soften it up with oil and wine. Mm -hmm. The oil is you, the spirit of love. Please wash me anew. With the wine of your blood. Yeah. Whew. Whew. Come on, somebody. I got goosebumps. If the hairs in your arm or neck are not sticking up, you haven't been listening. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is in this room. Hallelujah. And if it's just another Sunday service, if you're putting it, and you see, it's not so much, you know, are you prepared for a great meeting? Is your heart prepared? Is your heart prepared? Have you? But I get ready. I start getting ready Saturday night. I said this so many times. Saturday night for Sunday. Now that because I have to preach, but I mean just because I want to meet the Lord. I put certain things away on Saturday night. Why? Because I, I want to start to focus on Him. I want to start to hear His voice. Anyway, I'm gonna get Nancy back up here. I just that thing hit me so hard this morning. My prayers. Are, no, no, my eyes are dry, my faith is old. Lord, I just pray for everybody in here, including myself, that, Lord, you want to do a new thing. And I think through the worship today especially, that the heart, the eyes, it was like you can do it. Yes. And sometimes, Lord, you know, we're praying and we're praying and we're not seeing answers and we start to faint, we start to give up, we start to quit. And our expectation uh, becomes on what we can do instead of what you can do. So this morning, God, uh, I just pray that uh, you would do a new thing in us, creating us a clean heart, oh God. Amen. And a right spirit within us, God. Hallelujah. A work of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you're just willing to change, I'm just saying right now, if you're just willing to change, say, Lord, just take in my heart and fold it and mold it where you want it. If you're willing to say that, just say amen.